Hey, don't go dragging this review out. <laughs> I know. Hey, what's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Leader Class Transmetal 2 Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have some lovely artwork of Megs in both of his modes Transmetal 2 Megatron. That's not the correct symbol, but hey, it is what it is. Um, he is a leader class. Class a class leader, class leader, class a class a leader. On this side, we have the lovely legacy artwork. On this side, we have some more images of Megs. A nice close up shot, close up shot of his dragon mode. Up top, legacy on the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Transmetal 2 Megatron, and this is one that I was very much looking forward to, and does he live up to the hype? Well, we'll see. We'll see. But here he is, in robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here, so we can take a look, not at his Mega Crutch, but at his Mega Noggin. There's the Mega Noggin. You can see, nicely done a face sculpt, in my opinion. Nice purple for the eyes, silver on the face. Get some gold there as well on the cheeks. You get some transparent plastic there. On the forehead, a little bit up there as well. It does light pipe. Um, you can't really tell because I have a lot of bright lights on, but it does actually light pipe pretty well. Nice purple here for the chest. You get some transparent orange right there in his belly. And I like the detailing here, just making it look like musculature and whatnot. I think it looks quite good. I'm moving down the body. You can see you got some scales going on. You got some nice molded details. You got the Purple right here that fades into the red. I do quite like that effect. Got some gold there. And on the dragon head side, again, you got that purple that fades into the red. There you have the dragon head. Very nice sculpt here on the dragon head. Looks really good. The teeth picked out in gold. Very, very nicely done, in my opinion. Looks really good. Moving down the leg, it's got the purple kneecaps here. A little splash of gold. Here's big old feet. Claws. Picked out in that gold. You get some details here as well. Along the sides. Moving up the back. You got the, uh, this ponytail, or dragon tail rather, going on. And this ends up being the dragon mode chest. And just hangs out on his back. You got some nice detail here on the wings. The wings done in purple. And also just kind of fade into an orange. Quite nice, quite nice. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, um, the head can only rotate just due to how all this has to work for the dragon mode. You just get rotation, no up and down, no wiggly waggly. Of course, the ponytail is on multiple joints here, so you can have that going around. It's all on ball joints. You can position that how you want. And as far as the arms go, this side can rotate a full 360, so it's a soft ratchet can move in and out. Um, you have, again, multiple ball joints here. So you have your rotation there. You can kind of get the bend going on like that. Of course, the mouth can open and close. Um, on this side, the arm proper, get that rotation. Again, you get that soft ratchet in and out. Bicep rotation, you have a double jointed elbow. No wrist rotation, uh, just downward movement that you're using for transformation. Ratcheted waist rotation. Let's can go forward that far on a ratchet. Back about that far before it starts to bump into stuff. Outward. You can do the full splits and then some. Uh, you get thigh rotation. You get over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. Get a nice deep knee bend here. Um, this section, it's for dragon mode, but you could, you know, use that joint if you want to. If you want to break his leg, I don't know. Things you can do if you want to do it. And the feet, they can move up. Again, they're kind of on a soft ratchet. They can move up. They can move down. There's no rotation, but you do have ankle tiltage. And also, we can talk about the wings here. Of course, the wings are on a hinge. That can move forward and back. You can also splay the wings out if you want to. That looks quite, quite cool. And even these little bits here can move in and out if you need them to. So, hmm, there you go. 
Now, as far as accessories go, he just includes one. He just includes an effects part here, done in a nice transparent and orange. Lots of flamey goodness going on there. Looks quite nice. Um, you can, per the instructions, you can have him holding this in his hand as like a, I don't know, like a, like a flaming club or something. I don't know, flaming Cheeto. I don't know. You know, things you can do if you want to do it. But of course, you can plug it into the dragon's mouth. There's a port right there. So you can get that going on. We're going to count this as a blue. We can count it as a blue. We can do a big old transmetal blue. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So there you have that, and now for comparison! Here he is with a uh, couple of primals here, so you can see how that works out. Here he is with our Beast Wars Megs. Here he is with the perfect effect version of Transmetal 2 Megs, and I still think this figure is absolutely delicious. Oh, it's so lovely. I love it so much. But anyway, there it is. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the original Transmetal 2 Megatron, so you can see how that works out. Is it precious? I'm going to call it precious. It's so, so precious. So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks pretty good. My only nitpick is that I think this arm, his right arm, is a little too thin. Like, he skipped right arm day, and that's the most important day. You don't skip right arm day, but other than that, I think he looks quite good. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So, to get him into Doragon mode, first thing we need to do is we're going to take his head, and we're going to slide it back. Like so, and then you're going to take this whole assembly here with his head and just pop this back and just extend all this outward like so. You want to make sure his head is slid all the way back. You can kind of see the slider right under here, so just make sure that his head is pulled all the way back as far as it can go. And we're just going to leave that hanging out for now. So once we have done that, you want to open up his chest like so. And then we're going to just... Untab these claws here, just bring the dragon arm up, bring it out, and then you can just rotate that claw, you can position all that how you want later. So untab the claw from the chest, bring your arm up, bring it out, and just have that sitting out like so. You want to come here, you want to bring down these side panels here, and you want to take this little mustard, spicy mustard colored panel right here, just bring that out. Now you want to take the arm, his right arm, and bring it up, and it will tab into his shoulder right here. And once you've done that, tab in, tab, tab I say, tab, you tab. <laughs> you know why? Camera's on, that's why, there we go. Tab in, and then you take the fist, and you just fold it down like so, and you're going to shift this into the body, and there is a tab that will go into a slot right in there. So just line that up, tab it in, there you go, they can bring this panel in, that will cover up the hand right there. You want to bring up, rotate the dragon neck up, and then you're going to take this whole assembly and rotate it upward like so. Once you've done that, you can bring these side panels back up, like that. And once you've done that, you can take the chest panel here, and now there are tabs on either side that'll go into slots on either side of these panels here. So just bring it in, and they'll pretty much just locate themselves. But once you do, you can just give them a little squeeze, get them nice and squozen, and there you have the dragon chest all in place. So that is pretty much it for the upper body. Now we move on to the lower body. Get his wings up and out of the way here. So what you're going to do is you are going to rip his crotch in half. So just bring those bits out. And now you're going to take all of this here. You're going to bring this panel in and bring this up. So it's in this orientation. You do have a tab right here that's going to end up... I'm sorry, you have the tab right here that's going to end up in this slot right here. So that will tab in, and then you have a post and a tab for a port and a slot, and you have that on both sides. So you just line all of this up, and plug it in, plug it in, like so. 
There you go. Get it all nice and squozen. And then once you've done that, you just bring the chest up and that will just tab into place right up there. And we're pretty much at the home stretch. So now for the legs, you're going to take the foot, bend it up at this hinge here, and then just bend the knee all the way. Can orient that how you wish. Second verse is like the first. Just bring this up. Bend the knee all the way. Bring it up. Get him standing. And again, get the dragon head situated. If you want to splay the wings out, you can splay the wings out. Do as you wish. As always, it's your toy. Display it however you want. And there you go. There you have a Transmetal 2 Megatron in his dragon mode. Why would you spin? Why would you sp why would you spin the dragon? Why would you do that? Why? I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know. But there he is in his dragon mode. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I can work with it. I can definitely work with it. Again, you can splay these wings out as much as you want there. It look nice and nice and dramatic there, but yeah. I think for the most part. It looks pretty good, but let's get in close here so we can take a look again at that dragon noggin. I already did it, but we're going to look at it again because it just looks so good. Very nice detailing there on that dragon head. It looks great. Teeth are all picked out in gold. Looks really good. You got the, uh, the spicy mustard going down the neck here. Um, again, a nitpick. I nitpick the chest piece, um, just kind of where it ends up. It's you know, obviously supposed to be his chest, but kind of where it ends up, it makes him look like he has like a belly. <laughs> it makes him look like he has a little bit of a belly going on here, like he ate a couple Maximals. You know, hey, that's that could be how that works out. I don't know. But you get some nice gold. It just kind of fades into the red. I like a little bit of transclear and orange right there as well. But all in all, though, not too shabby. You got the tail there. Although, I think it looks pretty good. Again, he looks like he has a belly, but... Oh, no. I can work with it. I can work with it. Now, articulation-wise, again, you have multiple hinges. You have ball joints as well, so you can pretty much get the head going wherever you want. The mouth can open and close. Um, his little arms here can rotate, can move in and out. You got a bicep. You have an elbow. Nice deep elbow bend there. Um, little... Claws can move up and down as well as rotate, and legs are the same as they are in robot mode, so you get the same amount of movement there. Of course, sometimes you can pull that out, but yeah, you pretty much get the same range of movements there with those legs in dragon mode. And again, do what you want with the wings, but all in all, not too shabby, not too shabby. And for comparison, here it is again with the Perfect Effect version. And again, scrumptious. Oh, I love this thing so much. And here it is with the original Trans Metal 2 Megs. So you can see how that works out. And last but not least, here he is with Beast Wars Megs. So, mm, there you go. And, of course, we can give him his effects part here. We can just plug that into his mouth. And he can spit some fire. He can spit some fire all up in your face. Because, hey, fire-breathing dragons. You can't go wrong with a good fire-breathing dragon. And you know the main reason why I love Transmetal 2 Megatron? Because every version of him, he ends up with his own head shoved firmly up his own butt. And that alone makes this worth the price of admission every single time. I don't care. I love it. I, it's hilarious. Hey, Transmetal 2 Megs always acts like his crap doesn't stink, and he gets to find out firsthand. Now, can he do the, uh, the quote-unquote vehicle mode? Thankfully, no. I never liked that anyway. I, I, I always did that all of once, and I never did it again. Did anybody really like those vehicle modes on the Beast Wars? I, I know I didn't. I mean, me personally, anyway, I don't miss it, but no. This one doesn't do it, if you really wanted to. I mean, yeah, there you go. It was pretty much all it ever was anyway. Just kind of lay him on his belly. There you go. Boom. Car mode. Hooray. There you go. <laughs> 
Look, I never, I never liked that mode, so I don't personally miss it. But hey, to each their own, but there you go. So there you have Transmetal to Megatron, and yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, the robot mode looks good, the dragon mode looks good. Um, I have some nitpicks, um, you know, in robot mode the right arm is a little too thin, in dragon mode the, the chest sits a little too low so it kind of makes him look like he has a belly. Um, but other than that, I think it, I think it pulls off the looks pretty well. Transformation works well, smooth, fluid, enjoyable, all in all. Nicely done figure, and I'm happy to add him to my Beast Wars cast. So, there you go. Now, I picked mines up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get this figure from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Leader Class Transmetal 2 Megatron, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! What the, the... Megatron, is that you? Do you really not know the answer to that? Yeah, I just want to hear you say it. Yes. Ha! Ah, he said it. But, but what's going on here? What, you think you're the only one who can get upgraded around here? So let me guess, you still have to feed that second mouth of yours. Yes, I thought maybe I could finally get away from that, but nope, still have to do it. It's such a chore, you know? Not as much as a chore as dealing with Cheetor. Yes, yes, yes.